Well, Ian McCulloch uh, really was a good influence on our record because we went to Liverpool in England, you know, where the Beatles were from, and you know, because of our producer Ken, our, our co-producer Ken, and and we we have a, there's a room there which is really small, and we love working in it, and we're completely detached from everything, from all the business side of it and everything, and which is really brilliant, you know, I can't explain how brilliant it is. And the only thing that we occasionally were missing was some confidence, you know. And sometimes Ian would, you know, because we became friends really, he'd come in and, and just, you'd feel all right about everything, because he, he's a very confident guy and, uh, you know, of course he has the same insecurities. And, I don't know, he just, he just made me feel really confident about the fact that we were trying to push ourselves a little bit and you know he, he made me feel like it was okay to be obsessed with a record and the only way that we really collaborated was that one day he said to me you know Chris the record sounds okay you know because that's how he talks with his finger like that the record sounds okay Chris but have you got a song that goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three? Because every record should have one, Chris. Every record should have one. And so I thought, no, we haven't. So over the weekend, we did a song. So there's one song on our record that he basically told us to write, you know. Which one's that? A song called, it's a song called A Whisper, which goes, doom, 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 doom. you know. It does what he says, really, but very fast. Like I say, it's really cool when people you respect start to respect you and, and you realise of course that you're all just people and everyone's as paranoid as everybody else and there's a funny day when you realise that. <laughs>